favourites video for you. So basically, I've been obsessing over a lot of new products this month, so I thought I would do a little video and show you what my current favourites are. So the first thing I have to show you isn't too exciting, but I've been absolutely loving it for my skin. It's the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Kind to Skin Soothing Facial Toner. So I actually picked this up on a whim because the toner that I always use was actually out of stock at the time. So I picked this up and this is actually my second bottle of the stuff. So once I started using it, I did not stop using it. I absolutely love it. It doesn't sting like most toners do. I do find that other toners that I have used in the past tend to sting my skin. But it gives you that clean feeling afterwards, so that's why I didn't really mind it. But with this stuff, it doesn't sting your skin and it gives you a really fresh and clean feeling. So I absolutely love this for my current skincare routine. Now, if you guys have watched me for a while, you know that I'm absolutely obsessed with... Where is it? This primer right here, the Face of Australia Face Base Primer. I absolutely love it and I have not stopped using it since I've bought it. This is like my fourth bottle of the stuff, but that's not a favorite because we all know this is like a holy grail for me. The thing that I wanted to show you is this Moles Prefer Liquid Light Brightening Primer. So I picked this up from Priceline. It was around the $12 mark and I absolutely love it. It is one of those primers that not only primes the skin, but gives it a brightened look as well. So it's really subtle though. It's not too glowy to the point where your face looks like a disco ball it kind of just gives a nice glow so I really like it and it does help my makeup to last longer as well and it smells really good I absolutely love the smell of it usually I don't think I don't like things that are scented but I really like the smell of this so I've been using it a lot this past month since it is currently summer here in Australia I have been battling the heat and what I've been using to get through it is the Rexona clinical protection anti-perspirant deodorant let me tell you this beats every other deodorant I've ever tried any other anti-perspirant I've ever tried it, it's absolutely amazing I can't even talk because that's how great it is seriously this stuff really prevents the sweat and it keeps you feeling fresh and clean all day I know I'm talking about a deodorant but seriously if you're needing a really heavy duty good anti-perspirant deodorant I highly recommend for you to check this out the only totally just dropped on the ground the only con to this thing I find is that you really have to scrub it off at the end of the day and I'm talking like really scrub because you don't want to keep this on your armpits overnight or whatever it's not one of those things you want to do um, but yeah it's really good it's just that you really have to scrub it off at the end of the day but I absolutely love it highly recommend it for you guys to and check it out my next favorite is something I recently just picked up and I never thought I would actually pick up one of these or want to use one of these but it was on sale and I thought I'd try it out but I absolutely love it now. I think I've said absolutely love it so many times so far and I'm not even halfway through the products. But anyway, this is it here. It's the Maybelline Brow Drama um, Sculpting Brow Mascara. The shade that I got is Medium Brown. So it's basically like a... Um, mascara for your brows like that keeps it in place but it's also tinted so mine is in the shade medium brown so as you can see um, it has a brown tint through it and it just gives your brows that really nice full look and um, kind of helps to blend it in for me I use it since I have a lot of sparse areas on my actual brows I fill my brows in and then I use this to set it and it just makes everything blend together nicely and yeah I really like this stuff since we are on the topic of brows, I wanted to show you guys the brow kit that I've been using a lot this month. It's the Models Prefer Essential Brow Kit. So this is how it comes. I have not used the wax because to me it looks really red toned. So I don't think I want to put that on my brows. But I've been absolutely loving the powder as you can see. Um, I've been using it all month and it hasn't even made a dent in the product yet. So that's really good. Um, this kit also comes with tweezers and a like angled brow brush but I actually haven't used these so I didn't even realize I only opened this up to get the brow powder itself but I love the shade the shades great the kit that I have is in medium to dark so it's the perfect shade for me and since I did I don't know if you guys noticed but I actually did color my hair dark brown but it it's kind of looking black at the moment because it hasn't faded just yet but um, this is like the perfect colour for my hair colour at the moment, so I'm really loving this. I think I bought it for around $12, $13 from Priceline. 
Now, I'm definitely one of those girls that cannot go past a really pretty, shimmery, glowy highlight. So, I finally picked up the Mary Lou Luminizer by The Balm. I don't know why I didn't have this before, because honestly, it is freaking amazing. I absolutely love it. Yet again, that's that line. I keep saying that line. But seriously, I'm in love with this product. It's great. It's like second to my um, MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in soft and gentle but this is more of like a glow a glow a gold undertone whereas that one's more pink rosy kind of I don't know how to describe it but um, yeah this stuff is amazing so so pretty as you can see literally can you see that it's so gorgeous I absolutely love it and even though it does look scary in the pan because I know that looks pretty intimidating to those of you who aren't used to wearing a highlight honestly when you put it on it doesn't even overpower your face like it gives you a nice glow but it's not too much for your face I know that some people might not like how I highlight because I like to go all out with the highlight but seriously I love this I use it for my cheekbones down my nose I even like to use it as a shadow sometimes like um on my lids and in the corner of my eyes so it's a good multi-purpose product and um I really like it. I picked one up from David Jones. For those of you who live in Australia who are wondering where you can buy the balm products in the shops, you can pick it up from David Jones. And I think this is $34.95. On to contouring products. I'm sure this is going to be a favourite for a lot of those of you who live in Australia. If you didn't know, Australis recently came out with the AC Ontour Contouring and a Highlight Kit. And I've heard this is a really good dupe for the Anastasia contour and highlighting kit which isn't readily available in stores for us here in Australia so this is a good alternative for you if you're looking for something similar so this is how it comes really sturdy packaging and um, these are the colors that it comes with actually I'll put it this way so you've got three contouring shades and three highlight shades the one that I the ones that I use the most are um, this banana shade here which is like a yellow shade and I really like to use that to set underneath my eyes and also this matte brown shade here it's not too warm for a contour shade which I really like because I don't like contour shades on me that are really warm red toned I kind of prefer them to be more ashy so that's why I haven't touched these two because to me well, actually that's not too bad this one isn't too bad but I know this one's pretty um, red toned in my opinion this one here so um, yeah, it's great. I only really come to this palette to use those two, but this is a good highlight as well. It's just like a plain pale color, and then this one is like a shimmery shade, so that's good for you guys who want to use a um, highlight, like a shimmery highlight to highlight the tops of, tops of your cheekbones and whatnot. So I really love this thing. You can pick it up from Big W or Priceline for those of you who live in Australia. And I think it retails for about... Um, I'm gonna say like $16, $17, I'm not really sure. I'm kind of hoping that Australis will come out with just these two colors because for what you're paying, the, just just these two colors alone is totally worth it to me. I absolutely love them and Australis, if you can hear me, I hope you come out with these two shades right here because I absolutely love them. Next up, I have some lip products to show you guys. So I've absolutely been loving the nude look for some reason. I know it's summer and I said I was going to be totally into bright lip colors, but I've really been liking the glowy like face with nude lips. I don't know why, but these are great for that kind of look if that's what you want to go for. So these are the Maybelline Lip Elixir things. I guess in the color sensational range so they are from the color sensational range and they're called lip elixirs I'm pretty sure the packaging is so cute it's like um it looks like a lipstick bullet in the package if you can see that yeah it looks like a lipstick bullet but when you open it up it's actually a lip gloss so they're really high pigmented they come with this doe foot applicator which is really great because I find that those are the easiest to use when you're applying lip products to your lips. Um, I love these two colors. These two colors, I keep dropping them everywhere, I swear. So, these two colors that I have are, um, let me double check. So this is Nude Illusion, 
Yeah. Number 60, Nude Illusion, and number 65, Caramel Infused. I've really been loving this one. I'm actually wearing it on my lips today underneath another nude lipstick, and I really love it. The good thing about these two is that you can wear them alone. Like, you don't have to wear a lipstick underneath them or anything, and they hold their pigmentation very well, and they don't feel sticky. They actually make your lips feel really nourished and, like, um like as if you've applied a lip balm to them. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely hate when I put lip gloss on and the wind blows my hair and my hair gets stuck in my lips. But I don't really find that I have this issue with these because they're not very sticky, which is really good. So if you can check these out, I definitely recommend for you to go and have a look for them. I also have a purple one, but I haven't worn this yet, but I have a feeling I'll be wearing it throughout the autumn and winter months. The palette that I've been loving this month is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I know that the Too Faced Semi Sweet Palette, or palette, palette recently just came out, but I received this for Christmas from my amazing cousin Lisa, and I know you're watching, so thank you so much for getting this for me. I absolutely love it. It's incredible. The shades are so pigmented, and they smell like cocoa. Literally smell like cocoa. So this palette is awesome for day wear. It's awesome for night wear has a really good selection of neutral colours as well as some darker colours that you can use to kind of amp the look up and make it more dramatic if you want to. So definitely a fave of mine for this one. I have one last favourite to show you guys and it is this foundation from Bare Minerals. I can't even begin to explain how much I love this thing. I only discovered it two weeks ago and it's like my holy grail foundation I swear. Oh, I seriously love it so, 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 so much. For those of you who have a golden olive yellow undertone, this, you need this. Seriously, you need it. I cannot begin to explain how much of a good match this is to my skin. I'm wearing it at the moment. I don't know if you guys like it, but I'm... Oh, seriously, this gets me so excited just talking about it. Seriously, I highly recommend for you to go and check it out. Go and try it out. It is $38 from Mecca Maxima for those of you who live in Australia. Seriously amazing. It gives you a brightened look. It doesn't feel heavy. It's really light. And um, a little goes a long way. I only use three to four drops to apply to my whole face. But seriously, I don't know if you guys understand how much I love this thing. I'm pretty sure this is like my ultimate favorite of January and I can see myself wearing it for many more months so yeah if you have the opportunity to go and check it out and go and try it I highly re recommend that you do because I've literally fallen in love with this product there we have it those are all my current favorites I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful what I want you guys to do now is comment down below and let me know what one of your current favorites are because I'm always looking to try out new products. Don't forget to check out all my social media links below. I'm always on Twitter so I'd love for you guys to follow me on Twitter so we can talk and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can know when my video is uploaded as soon as it's uploaded. I hope you guys are having an amazing week so far and as always I'll talk to you in my next video. Take care! sensational the elixir lip really no, but I received this from from Chris why can't I talk what?